All right, guys, here we are at the build. So uh, to start things off, we're going to be speaking to the Fist of Elements brawl and just a little bit to the Mystical Assault tree. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, read off the Fist of Elements tree here. So we're going to be starting off with uh, 3 out of 3 in the Steady Hands, 5 out of 5 in Anima. Uh, then we're going to go 5 out of 5 in the Tempest. And I just threw 1 in the Wildfire uh, so that the uh, status effect can spread throughout nearby enemies when mobbing. Uh, this build works great for mobbing, so that's why I threw 1 into Wildfire. Uh, then I threw one into Dread, because, you know, increased gun damage uh, is increased for a few seconds after an enemy's grass. It's just good overall. Uh, Deep Well, this helps out with all of our elemental weapons that are going to be using on Amara, so definitely spec into this one. Uh, 3 out of 3 in indiscriminate. Uh, Amara's bullets that damage increased enemies have a chance to ricochet and deal decreased damage to their other nearby enemies. Uh, this will heavily uh, go into play uh, with the weapon setup we got here, and then rico ricochet chance and damage are increased if the target is currently affected by phase grass or stillness of mind um then over here we have uh, catharsis whenever amara triggers an elemental effect on an enemy when that enemy dies that enemy explodes dealing her attuned element damage along with any other element that is currently afflicted upon the enemy this skill has a short cooldown uh, cooldown of eight seconds i threw one into here uh then we have conflux out of five whenever amara applies a status effect to an enemy she gains a chance to randomly electrocute ignite or melt that enemy a 35 percent chance uh, considering we're going to be running almost every single element um, with this build, you're going to be wanting to run Conflux. It's pretty insane. And then we have Forceful Expression, Amara's Gun Deals, bonus elemental damage based on her action skill element, uh, 18%. And we have Shock uh, as our main element. And then go ahead and spec into uh, Ties That Bind and Allure. Coming over here into Brawl, uh, put 2 into Clarity. Max that helping hand, uh, three out of three into personal space. This uh, comes into play uh, mainly with one of the, uh, with the weapons that we're using. Uh, so uh, do spec into personal space. Uh, three out of five uh, root to rise to give us a little bit of extra durability with some extra health. Two out of five into arms deal. Amara's uh, deals increase splash damage and takes reduced splash damage. This helps overall. Uh, just to stay alive then we have mindfulness whenever amara takes damage she gains a stack of mindfulness for every stack of mindfulness amara gains improved shield regeneration delay and movement speed uh stacks decay after a few seconds uh this goes very well with our class mod for sure and then over here on the red tree you uh you spec the one to violent tapestry for uh rush stacks and then uh, we went and maxed out uh fast hands because we're gonna be doing a lot of weapon switching throughout the build so, uh, coming over into the weapons, um, this is a little similar to the uh, Avatar Mar build that I did. However, this one does have a few exceptions. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the same thing. The Spiritual Driver is a class mod. Uh, mine is honestly really bad with the perks that it rolled. However, the the class mod itself is still absolutely disgusting. This uh, class mod is very good. Whenever Amara activates her action skill, she applies her action skill element to herself. Uh, Amara's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker she moves, the greater the gun damage. Yeah. Insane. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and read off the weapons. So we're going to be using a Brainstormer here. Uh, the Brainstormer is really good, especially when we're using our elemental projector. Our class, or not class, our artifact. Um, this will allow us to do in some insane damage just by activating our face grasp. Uh, especially since uh, we, if you actually don't use it on an enemy, the cooldown is instant. You can uh, spam your rush attacks really fast. Uh, put the electric on yourself and then that does count as an ASE and that comes into play later in the build. But this will allow the brainstormer to just melt some enemies like crazy. Um, then we have the two cutsmans. <laughs> so uh, I have my incendiary cutsman that has bonus uh, shock damage on ASE and then I have uh, this quicksilver cutsman I'm mainly just running this cutsman because it's corrosive I do have another uh, cutsman in here where is it yeah right here that uh, has an ASE with extra radiation damage uh, but I decided uh, that I needed some corrosive in my life so yeah uh, and then we have the I guess you could say the roundabout weapon the uh, most insane weapon for the build is going to be the recursion so what this thing does is when you shoot it right it charges up and then it shoots like a little disc and when it hits enemies it can it can ricochet and when it ricochets it can literally melt enemies insanely uh, insanely fast the ricochet allows for some insane uh, damage to take place and just overall some crazy stuff to happen overall um, combine that with our perk down here Oh, where is it at? Uh, indiscriminate. It makes the uh, recursion even all that more insane. 
my anointment on it is not that good. Uh, if, and once again, if you have an ASE, uh, weapon damage is increased 100% after time. Or, you know, if you get, like, an element on it, uh, that could be good, too. Uh, my uh, anointment is consecutive hits increase weapon damage by 1% per hit. Miss, misses remove all bonuses. Um, so it can be pretty good if I'm accurate. However, um, it's any a better ASC it will definitely be better than this anointment for sure uh, coming into the shoe we got the back cam uh, we mainly run the back cam because we're, we want this one for extra cryo damage um, and overall the back cam does allow for just some good uh, durability especially when getting shot from the uh, behind and combine that with the oops combine that with the helping hands you'll have some really good damage reduction especially if you're getting shot from the back just allowing you to stay alive better overall and you'll be running super fast so it'll be hard for you to die um, that is why I want to know why we're not going to be specking into Guardian Angel because it's hard to die and if you do go down your recursion should be able to pick you up uh, worst case scenario um, and then the grenade uh, the grenade doesn't matter as long as you have an ASC to apply any sort of what, how do I say this any sort of elemental effect to your weapons will be great and uh, don't stack the effects if this was cryo and this was cryo that'd be bad because that does uh, they don't stack like that you want to run different elements so you just get 100 percent extra damage from two elements uh 50 plus 50 is obviously 100 that's why we do that um and then re another reason why we're doing this is because we're going to be running uh to where uh we're going to be as soon as we pop our ase we will do all the elemental damage uh which is crazy to think about which is the whole purpose of why we're doing this is because we want to apply all the elements to ourselves uh, so we have just insanely overwhelming elemental damage and then once we have all that insane elemental damage and we're doing have that all elemental effects we have the conflux ability to have the 35 percent chance to randomly electrocute ignite or melt uh, i do want to note that this does work for only shock incendiary and corrosive which is why in the build we are running a incendiary corrosive and shock uh, weapons and if these were shock or corrosive or incendiary uh, we would definitely want to run that on the shield uh, but we don't so we're just going to roll with all of the uh, elements that we got because uh, our element is shock we have this to apply oops this to apply uh, incinerary damage and if this was corrosive that would be the desired build because after uh, as soon as we would pop our face cast we would instantly have all three of the elements to randomly electrocute uh, melt or ignite the enemy uh, on our weapons uh, but that is just what we're do uh, well, what the main goal of this is uh, overall and then coming down here to the class mod as I said earlier it's the elemental projector uh, it just allows for you whenever you pop this you have 90% damage shock right now so like right now of uh, my brainstorm would be insane uh, I, w I do want to mention that if you have a uh, the desi designed recursion it would be like to have shock incinerary shock corrosive or corrosive and incinerary not cryo like I have here but I'm just rolling with the, with the cards that I'm dealt uh, but yeah guys that is gonna just about wrap up the video if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop your load on that like button subscribe if you are new also while you're at it go ahead and give that bell down there a little bit of a love dab for me i greatly appreciate it um also join our discord shrine discord it's a nice little community that me and my boy hyphen are working on building up so if you want to be a part of that a link to that at the top of the description i hope this build helps you i think it's my best mr build uh to date for sure uh but yeah guys my name's Cree. hope you did enjoy the video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out y'all